What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Exploring the Modes. In today's video we're gonna talk about the Phrygian mode. Okay, the Phrygian mode is the third mode of the major scale, very much used in metal, heavy music, but also Spanish music. So basically it's a minor scale, but with a flat two in it, so... And a flat two is actually what gives that dark, aggressive feel, and that's also why it's very much used in metal music and heavy riffs and that kind of stuff. So as far as intervals, uh, let's take... A minor as an example. As always, I'm tuned half step down, but anyway. Um, we're gonna have A, B flat, which is our flat two, C, um, D, E, F, G, and then again A. So basically, you, you can think of it like the F major scale. So F major scale, but obviously in a uh, on an A minor con context. So, because obviously that's the th uh, third mode of the major scale. So we're gonna think a third up from a certain major scale. So mainly you're gonna use that over a minor chord, obviously. So A minor. Then if we continue on the scale, uh, let's find out actually the chords which we can find in this mode. So A minor, B flat major. C major, D minor, E um, half diminished, E diminished triad, F, uh, G minor, and back on A minor. So basically the chords of the F major scale again. You can simply think of it as the F major scale, but you know, keeping in mind A as a, as a tonal center. Also, it kind of has like a Spanish feel, especially if you use that on a, on a nylon, nylon string. So as far as the important notes that you want to focus on, obviously the flat two is gonna give you immediately that the Phrygian vibe. So minor scale with a flat two, really, you can think of it this way. Um, then also we have the minor six to, to the to the fifth, you know, as uh, another dissonance that you can use. But this one is also common in the other uh, mode, like the a Aeolian mode. So natural minor scale, you can also find that. But the flat two, you can only find that in the Phrygian mode. So it's gonna give you immediately that vibe. Uh, as far as chords, obviously every chord that has the flat 2 in it. So G major to A minor could be a really cool Phrygian progression, but, uh, but also B flat major to A minor. So flat 2 major to 1 minor. Very common and very uh, Phrygian sounding, obviously. As always, you can think of it both in a harmonic way and a lead playing way. So if you just think of those arpeggios.
So I mean, literally just going from B flat major to A minor and then to uh, and then G uh, G minor to A minor again. And also you can think uh, G minor and B flat major kind of the same thing. You, you know, uh, G, G minor is the relative minor and vice versa. B flat is the relative major. So they really have the same function. So you can use them both combined with uh, A minor to have a really strong Phrygian vibe. Which sounds very cool, very dark and very, I don't know, introspective in some way. But obviously you can use the dissonance between the flat 2 and the root note to make That's what you were waiting for, right? Yeah, you can use that in a gen context as well. So basically it's zero, one. You know, gen, I guess, what kids do today. I mean, I'm a kid myself, I guess, but anyway. You know, those classic, very, very common riffs in which you have uh, basically three, one, and zero. Um, which is actually in a Tesseract song, if I remember correctly. Was it Smile? Probably? Something like that. Yeah, very common and very aggressive for this kind of application, so it's very, very useful. I mean, probably like 80% of metal is in a Phrygian key, whether it's Phrygian dominant or like Phrygian. But I guess it's fun sometimes to use this mode to again make these kind of riffs, um, even though everybody kind of do the same thing, but it's okay, I guess. Again, you can also use that in a more melodic way if you think of like chord progressions contained in it. Something like that. So this was basically just again thinking of those chords with uh, with, with the flat second. So so I started like this. So A minor with this kind of tricky voicing. It's basically a, a spread triad with um, with the, with an A up here, and then probably. I mean, you could, you could do all sorts of things. Probably the same thing, so G minor. Or G minor 7. E minor again. B flat major. A minor. So you see, I'm kind of just using different versions of the same chords. So really, when you have the fretboard mapped with those chords, you can freely come up with chord progressions and different um, colors to, to combine together to maybe build a more melodic chill section in contrast to, you know, the stupid heavy riffs. Which are always fun, obviously. Anyway guys, that's it from today's video, hope you liked it. As always, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episodes of this series about modes. We still have some modes left from the major scale, so yeah, stay tuned, make sure to subscribe for more. Ciao!